And we are back here on Open. The Bronx Chamber of Commerce is an organization whose purpose is to strengthen the economic viability as well as improving the quality of life right here in our borough. Joining us now, Nunzio Del Greco, president and CEO of the organization, telling us more about what is happening at the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. And good to have you, Nunzio. Yeah, pleasure to be here. I'm very happy. Uh, amazing things are happening at the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. It's an amazing platform for small businesses because what it gives them is instant credibility. You know, right. once you're a member, you're, it opens up a lot of uh, opportunities to network, uh, to get the message out there, what kind of business you have, what do you do. Uh, I have some uh, uh, amazing events that, that are really fun. I uh, have a really uh, uh, cool Bose sound system. Mm -hmm. uh, so we take it to these events and uh, the breakfast seminars, evening events, and I have a cordless mic and I, I allow everybody to introduce themselves and do a little elevator speech and people <laughs> love it. <laughs> you know, That's they're, good. They're really coming out and it's fun events. Well, small business, of course, is the lifeblood of the United States economy. And yes. so really talk about your work in terms of really connecting right here in the borough. Well, we work closely with SBS, and uh, we also have a grant for Chamber on the Go. And so basically, we send people out to their uh, local businesses to see what they're doing, to help them, to provide information for them in terms of uh, services that are available, workshops and seminars. Very uh, amazing things are happening in the Bronx. Yeah, St. Patty's Day around the corner yeah. here, and uh, very exciting for us yeah. here too. And uh, I yeah. know the chamber is taking uh, full advantage of that. Got a very yeah. special event coming up this Thursday. Uh, yes, uh, this Thursday uh, we have uh, six uh, distinguished honorees. Uh, we try to uh, honor either f up to four to six uh, honorees for each event. And uh, we have some interesting people being honored, uh, including the uh, chief, of, the new chief of police in the Bronx. Uh, his name is uh, Terrence Monahan. Uh, some great individuals being honored. And so Terrence Monahan, of course, you're going to see uh, in a few seconds. All of our viewers will get the opportunity to see uh, the full flyer that actually has uh, all six of the honorees out there. But talk to us about just being able to have this event. I mean, it's a part of you know St. Patrick's Day and the celebration mm -hmm. and what it means for the chamber to be a part of the St. Patrick's Day. It's now. really uh, amazing because we we bring the community together, and uh, they're very well attended events and. Uh, uh, that people are happy to be part of uh, the organization and to network. That's what it's all about. Yeah, and the networking component is major. Talk to us about that because having the ability for businesses to be able to share resources, contacts, and, and things like that, you become that bridge yeah. and, um, and, and, and give the importance of that for, for businesses. Yeah, the, the number one uh, uh, opportunity for businesses, what they're looking for is referrals. Mm -hmm. They want to grow their business. So the lifeblood of any small business, any business, is referrals. So uh, a couple of years ago, I put out uh, uh, our Bronx business directory, right. and uh, it's the second uh, of its kind. Uh, and it, it's really an amazing publication. Uh, I started it in 2017, and it's really taken off. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, organizations participate in advertising the publication. It's a great uh, uh, distribution of, uh, uh, to all of the elected officials and our community partners. And, and the community partners, of course, are major uh, that you yeah. have. And that, pro that partnership, I think we talked a little earlier with Wave Hill about the partnership aspect, right. what that does for the organization. What has partnership been able to do for the chamber? Well, it's uh, you, uh, bringing together resources, so this way we all uh, aligned in terms of what we want to accomplish and our goals. So uh, by uh, having a community partner, uh, it carries a lot more weight and helps us uh, get the message out there. You're out there, uh, you know, talking about the Bronx, selling the Bronx to folk and letting people know exactly all that the Bronx has to offer. What are the things that you're hearing in your comings and goings about the borough, given the fact that we've got this economic development, we've got businesses that are now coming into the Bronx even more? What are you hearing? People are excited about the Bronx. When they hear Bronx, they, they, they're excited. Mm -hmm. there, there's a swag and, a, and, and people love it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the Bronx is hip now. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're not Brooklyn, but we're the Bronx. That's it. And and that's we're, good. We're, we're bad all by ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's good. What's happening coming up this spring, summer? I know you got your event plate full. Yeah, we have events all the time. We, um, last year, I think we hosted over 60 events. 
uh, workshops and seminars. Uh, next week we have a Women of Distinction event uh, at the Villa Barone Manor. And then in uh, April we have uh, the Best of the Bronx, uh, well, it's our Bronx version of the Academy Awards uh, mm -hmm. going to be held at the Marina del Rey on April 18th. Uh, we have uh, the Perez family uh, is being honored as the developer of the year. Uh, Bronx Community College, our institutional member of the year. Um, Gino's Pastry Shop uh, in Arthur Avenue. Yeah. He is uh, the, the Made in the Bronx Award. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we really have a great uh, 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 group of people being honored. It's a fun event. And it's also, you know, the Chamber has a great way of keeping the Bronx alive, you know, and it's alive in the, in, in the minds and the hearts of a lot of people just by, you know, the various events that you have. And it seems as though you're able to get around the wide gamut, you know, you're, you're touching on a lot of different things. I know you have Black Heritage Luncheon, you got, you know, now Irish uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about the intentionality of making sure that you're hitting everybody. And yeah, that's a hard job. I, you know, the good part of uh, what uh, I'm doing now is to really uh, open up uh, nominations uh, to get people to uh, want to be part of uh, uh, being honored at different events. And, you know, once I did that, I, I was overwhelmed with the number of people that uh, are putting in to be honored, which is really uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. There's a real need for that. Well, there's a lot of great people here. I mean, there's yeah. a, lot, there's a lot of great people. And yeah. a lot of, uh, but the one thing I think that even the Chamber does to help to highlight is the fact that there's so many great people and some great businesses that are doing some great work, but they just haven't seen the light yet. Yeah. And a lot of people just don't know about them. Yeah. Well, that's why we want to try to get the word out there. We have a monthly uh, publication. I think I gave you a couple of copies. Yeah. You know, so it's a it's a regular publication. It's out there all the time. It's online. Uh, we try to do a lot of things electronically because that's the world we live in today. Yes, electronically, <laughs> digitally. If you, if, you, if you don't have that, you're not in. Yeah. Yeah, so coming up around the corner, of course, we want to give you the special highlight again. Tomorrow is going to be that very special event. You saw the flyer that's on the on the screen, Irish Heritage Luncheon. That's going to be taking place at the Rambling House, and that's 4292 Katona Avenue uh, in the Bronx. And uh, is there still time to get a ticket? Absolutely. Okay, so you can RSVP <laughs> at the... Uh, at, uh, 718-828-3900 and get in touch and uh, Lindsay and the family will take good care of you there Absolutely. make sure you're a part of it as well as the other events that you're uh, having. What are the biggest challenges that you're hearing most of all from businesses these days? I think getting the message out there is, is really important and that's why um, Chamber on the Go is really important because you know it's the uh, boots on the ground kind of a thing you know visiting uh, people uh, in their local uh, uh, shops and, and their businesses uh, because most of these small businesses are working 18, 20 hour days. So for them to get out, it's really tough. But I encourage them to come to at least one event a month, to spend two or three hours to, to meet people. Because I always say, you never know where your next big deal is going to come from. And That's it's right. so true. And networking is always the yeah. key. That's mm -hmm. cultivating relationships. That's it. Well, tomorrow, you can cultivate that relationship at the dinner and, or I should say, the luncheon, and that's taking place from 12 to 3. Uh, make sure that you come on out and be a part of that. Nunzio, thank you so much for coming to share. Of course, you've got to come back. I will. Let us know all the good things happening at the chamber. <laughs> thank you good so much. You. Pleasure. Nunzio Del Greco you. here with us. Listen, taking a quick break. we got more show coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a few. Great.